My name is uh, Vaughn Kelong. I I actually came here, came to Canada in August of 1985. From I was originally from Laos, but immigrated to uh, Thailand and stay in the refugee camp in Thailand for five years. Um, when I arrived here, I attended Sir John and McDonald. Um, I started out as an ESS student, so when I got here, I was already 17, so I was quite behind from a lot of people. But I always knew that I want to start my own business. So when I was working for my old boss at Harvey's restaurant, some way, somehow, the restaurant business kind of gravitates me and give me the energy. However, having said that, I did not quite know what my first venture would be. So I started out as buying a, a, a first business as a hamburger joint. The hamburger business called O'Neill's was successful and gave me the platform for so many years. But like any, I think it's like any other people who strive to succeed in life, that wasn't quite enough for me. I kind of get bored of that. So I acquired uh, uh, another business. Say that Thai food would dominate the market for the next 30 years. And I said, well, wait a minute. This is something that I know. This is something that I can share. So I went out and uh, you know, search for my first location here in downtown Hamilton. I'm being in Hamiltonian, so I thought, like, let's start it out here um, almost 11 years ago. It was a quite big of a challenge. Not only that people don't know the Thai food, it's such a mainstream for people not in downtown Hamilton. It was a tough, tough business. And of course, today, there's five different Mai Thai locations. I cannot look back. Without here in Hamilton roots, I would not be sitting here and talking to you. Doing business here in this country uh, versus I would say that the knowledge that I have to do the business in my home country is that in here in Canada, we have such an unlimited source of assistance, whether it is the bank managers, whether it is the government level, um, being rewarded. Back home, if you do business, you would do it for money. Here in this location, we are known for multitasking. We have we don't have a hostess or a bartender. We do all of it. So I'm a waitress, a hostess, and a bartender. Vaughn as a boss, she's very accommodating too. Like she juggles everyone's schedule. I have no idea how she manages to do that. Um, work in every schedule, so every week, like the schedule works out perfectly fine. Um, booking off days isn't hard. We don't have to give no like month advance, like half a year advance, like other businesses. We can just you know book off just like a week ahead's time, and she'll be able to accommodate us and make it work. I'm the manager here at My Thai Hamilton. My duties include a whole bunch of things. I serve too, and I cook sometimes. I clean. I do the inventory. I do supplies, I guess. I, I do basically everything that Vaughn needs me to do. Okay, I've been especially grateful to Vaughn because um, she's helped me out a lot personally. I finished Teachers College and the job market isn't well right now. So finishing school, I couldn't find a job. She hired me on full time and gave me the management position. And she just um, provided the security that I need to pay back my tuition and to pay all my bills and everything. Be able to create job for people. I think that probably one of the satisfying thing for me, knowing that I am responsible for, you know, so many lives. Obviously, today we have over 100 employees, and for me, I take that responsibility seriously. That I think that people rely on me, people depend on me. So my job today is not just, you know, owning a my type restaurants and make money. My job today is create a profitable business and create job for the community, for the people that I know, and for the country that I live in, that I think that we live in the greatest country on earth. You know, being a child um, in Laos, in a communist country, I think there was part of it that I remember, part of it that I would say that I'm grateful not remembering, like not remembering the bad stuff, not remembering that, you know, I remember being told by mom, not to come in, not to stay out late. Uh, you know, we could have get killed, we could have get raped. Um, when we go out, five food in, in, the, in the garden, 
um, we have to make sure that we're not caught by the communist soldiers because if they caught us uh, being a girl, we could have been subjected to rape. It's not easy to have a pen and paper to go to school, especially when you're a girl. You are told that you're just gonna be somebody's wife and a mother, and you shouldn't be acquired higher education anyway. So education is for those who are privileged. Education is not for everybody. Where in this country without democracy, education is for everybody. You be whoever you want to be. Uh, so as a child growing up in Laos, I did not go to school. I was not able to go to school. My parents was poor. So our way of life is going to find fish in the pond, going to uh, the garden to find the vegetable to sell in the market, make the money, doing survival, growing the rice farm, uh, because we want the privileged kids. And I think that a lot of people that you will learn that coming from as an immigrant that make it, they will say the same thing to you. They're not fearful to do what they did before, but they don't want to go back there. Being in this country, we are so fortunate.